All right, guys, so I'm going to talk to you about the great evil talking head in SIN. Now, SIN is an evil news organization that's run by an hologram that's basically like a talking head. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a reporter, but, you know, it's like a talking head, you know, whenever, you know, reporters do like a big close up. <laughs> yeah, but it's basically a hologram and it's a uh, rogue. It's a rogue guy that was basically built during the Cold War because, you know, the government was kind of afraid the Reds were going to use Hollywood to try and brainwash people because they were a little too left-leaning for them or something. So they decided to do with the only thing that, you know, um, logically they would do. Yeah. If they're going to brainwash people, we're going to brainwash them first. <laughs> and that's why the great evil talking head was made. <laughs> And so the great evil talking head was kind of unleashed upon the media dimension where it kind of slowly took over and kind of, you know, start turned it into kind of a hostile, dangerous place. <laughs> yeah, that's why Desiree was, ba that's right, Desiree, who had the ability of movie magic, was basically there. Yeah, her parents were kind of captured during the government because they kind of had the ability to see the, to kind of, you know, manipulate media so uh they were kind of involved with the project that you know made the great evil talking head but she was kind of you know a little girl back then you know when she grew a little older she decided hey i'm gonna get i'm just gonna you know take my grandfather's i'm gonna just take my dad's old remote and you know go into the media dimension yeah and i'm gonna you know undo all the damage you know so that the government can't you know tell me what to do or you know brainwash people anymore. <laughs> Yeah, the media dimension is mostly me, and the media dimension back then in her day was kind of, you know, um, made up of movies and TV shows, or, well, they were basically, like, parodies of it, really. <laughs> or, you know, inspired by different genres. Of course, the media dimension, you know, kind of grew after that several years later. In fact, you know, it was kind of instantaneous, really, once the internet, you know, took off, and, you know, you know, once music and internet and video games got involved with, you know, the media dimension, and they kind of became super interlinked with each other, yeah, suddenly it kind of became kind of a huge deal, and uh, it kind of, you know, made the great evil hit talking head kind of grow in power, unfortunately. <laughs> To the point that missing to the point that it's brainwashing misinformation is kind of spreading all over the place. Yeah, even I had to deal with you know the great evil talking and you know spreading fake news about me. <laughs> mostly because the yeah, <laughs> mostly because it's sort of like James Jonas Jameson kind of you know, but a lot less fun and you know a um, lot more villainous really. <laughs> Since I'm pretty sure James Jonas Jamerson, yeah, just didn't trust people in the mask and, you know, kind of had a bad association with it. <laughs> but the great evil talking head was basically made to brainwash people. <laughs> yes, by the government. You know, because I'm the government, I'm the government, I'm the reason nothing works. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much the, that's pretty much the intro to, you know, the great evil talking head. <laughs> I should probably make up a list of, you know, all the different worlds of the media dimension. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, all fused together now. <laughs> I just hope that, you know, I can uh, make everything legally distinct enough so I don't get sued. <laughs>